Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to create a new steel industrial steel stair in SOLIDWORKS with the help of SOLIDWORKS weldment and sheet metal tool. So let's start to see how to make this steel stair in SOLIDWORKS. Welcome back to the new exercise here. We are going to create an industrial stair or industrial steel stair. See, if I am going to check this is the stair and uh, we are going to create with the help of SOLIDWORKS weldment tools. So, let's make first this frame. You will see this frame. This frame length 160 and 1000 millimeter and 200 millimeter from here. Now, this is the frame size 120.55. So, this is we are going to take from system. Okay. So let's try this dimensions we are going to take from top 45 and you will see the center distance between two frame is 600 millimeter. Okay. Now front plane is sketch. Now activate line tool. Just okay. Now let's draw the outer dimension first. 1660 the vertical length 1000 millimeter. Okay. Now let's take down this one. Actually this 1000. Okay. This one make 200 millimeter. Now the next most important thing angle. Angle if you are going to take from this one. So it's 45 plus 90. It's 135 degree. See this is fully defined a sketch. Exit. Now right click and go to tabs and here activates weldments and sheet metal. Because both we are going to use. If you are going to weldments. Now, weldments, steel structure, now ISO standard, now we are going to make C channel and the maximum size what we have here 120 into 12 millimeter. Now the first, so I will choose this one, this one, this one, now just, now look, just come down. Keep corner end meter and angle alignment angle 90 degree. Look, we need this kind of frames. See, see, let's say yes. Look, now let me create a plane plane I am going to choose this one here keep dimension 300 millimeter distance say yes go to features and click mirror now here choose plane and body so we have to choose this all three body because we here three flanges are there are three C channels look now let me hide this See that's created. Now let's create this pipe railing. You will see the distance 700 millimeter. If you are going to see more focus, 700 from here to here. This is flush with this outer face. And 100 millimeter, you will see the distance from this end 450, 450, 350, 350, the center distance. Okay, and this is parallel both. So let's make this, and you will see 33.7 millimeter outer diameter inside 25.7. So we will see, and this one we need to make only in one side. Then next, okay, let's make this first. First, we need to create a plane at mid. Plane 
I'll choose this one and back surface. See, it's going to create a plane at the mid of this body. Say yes. Now click on the plane sketch, activate line tool. Okay. Now, now I am going to. Okay. Now again activate line tool and click outer line. Again press L key in your keyboard and activate line tool. Make sure the lines are vertical. Now select all the lines, make relation equal. See, smart dimension. Now first distance from outer side is 100 millimeter okay now this one is 350 350 is 700 millimeter long look now this next distance is 450 450 again line and let's draw a line like this and press something here now let's make few relations. Hold shift key or points and this line coincide. This is important relation. Now here also select this line, this, this point and this line coincide. Okay. One more relation, select end point and end point origin point vertical. See this is fully defined sketch. Okay, this end also we need to define, select this point and select the end point of this. No, not this is the end point. Hold shift key, this point vertical. Now this is fully defined sketch. Again, I am going to use. Now click from mid line. Now here few relations we are going to create. Vertical. Now these two lines parallel, this is important relation and distance. This line distance from here to here it's half, 350. This is fully defined a sketch. Okay. Now exit and go to weld mains and activate steel structural member, isometric view. Okay. ISO standard here type pipe and the maximum length 37.5 this is the R main diameter outer diameter say ok now first group I am going to choose this one see new group in this group I am going to choose this one again cre create new group and in this group I am going to select this one Now rest keep as it is, say OK. Now let's, let me hide the plane and let's see what is there any difference. Now look, the pipe is not perfectly aligned here and both the ends. So we have one tool called trim extend. Keep end trim like this. Body to be trim, I'll choose this pipe. And uh, faces, if I'm going to choose this face see it is aligned with this if i am going to select body this body see pipe going to make up to here so we need face and this is the face second pipe also let's choose this one say okay look if i am going to select plane section be okay now see the pipe condition this pipe perfectly aligned see here no need to define some more thing see okay now let's try to make a stair center part you will see one two three four five six seven steps are there and the gap between two steps are 200 millimeter 
and this is sheet metal part so this is the view see 150 long this side 40 this side 15 and thickness 1.5 inside bend radius r2 2 millimeter then there is a two holes and this center distance 70 from this side 30 and there is one chamfer 25 by 25 see this is the chamfer so i'm going to create with this now i'll let me create one section view front plane section view okay and uh, let me hide this okay so the views are clear let's start connect from here to here One fifty forty fifteen and distance from this end is fifty millimeter. See, this is perfectly going. Now uncheck section view because we need go to sheet metal and click base flange edge. In direction one, first you have to choose. I'll choose up to surface. Which surface? Click this. Perfect. Now let's check again whether this one going perfectly aligned with this. Comes down. Thickness 1.5 inside radius. Bend allowance. K factor is standard 0.5. So we will keep as it is. And auto relief. It is not applied for this case, in this case. So let's keep as it is say okay okay that's it age flange now click this one come down i'm going to choose both the end blind 40 millimeters is the distance keep material inside but here we have to use one tool and this is called trim side tool if i am going to choose without this say okay look the bending is not corner is not perfectly aligned this is a little impossible thing so edit and here we have option called trim side bend okay now look now see a corner we have perfect align if i am going to choose flat end you will see uncheck that's it corner break chamfer 25 and which this one and this one say okay now again base flange edit let's check thickness by default we 4.5 so let's 1.5 okay now that's perfectly defined Now, let's make multiple uh, things, then we will mirror hole. Hole because hole we need to make in both side. Linear pattern. Okay. I'll check this edge. 200 millimeter, seven number of patterns. Feature, uh, no, we have to choose body actually, not feature. This is a separate body. You will see. 
सेवन नंबर ऑफ इंस्टेंसेस सेवन नंबर ऑफ बॉडीज से ओके इफ यू ड्रॉप डाउन यू हियर ऑल दी पाइप एंड चैनल कट लिस्ट एंड हियर ऑल्सो यू विल सी शीट मेटल कट लिस्ट नाउ गो टू होल विजार्ट क्लिक हियर होल डी आई एन स्टैंडर्ड ओके ड्रिल साइज दिस इज टेन डायमीटर होल थ्रू आउट एंड हियर सेलेक्ट ऑल बॉडीज नॉट एनी वन बॉडीज पोजिशन जस्ट क्लिक दिस वन जस्ट रोटेट एंड प्लेस समथिंग लाइक हियर स्केप की टू आउट होल्ड शिफ्ट की फर्स्ट मेक फ्यू रिलेशंस सेलेक्ट बोथ दी पॉइंट ऑरिजोनटल एक्टिवेट स्मार्ट डायमेंशन टूल एंड मेक दी डिस्टेंस सेवेंटी एंड वन मोर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दिस एज फिफ्टीन एंड वन मोर डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम आउटर एज इट्स थर्टी ओके से ओके नाउ लेट्स चेक द होल बैक साइड दैट्स इट नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू मेरर दिस होल सो वी ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ प्लेन एट थ्री हंड्रेड सी मेरर प्लेन ऑलरेडी सेलेक्टेड नाउ हियर वी हैव टू चूज फीचर वॉट फीचर ड्रॉप डाउन क्लिक दिस होल डायमीटर एंड हियर मेक श्योर चेक ऑल बॉडीज ओके सी नाउ अगेन वी हैव टू मूव दिस होल ऑल्सो so same pattern we are going to apply linear pattern direction this edge 270 and keep all bodies see say yes and see the hole is shifted look appearance i am going to apply orange edit let something like uh, yellowish okay so this is how we made a simple steel industrial steel stair in solid works with the help of weldment tools and we learned how to use weldment tools to create this steel in solid works thanks for watching don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching